what are some of the benefits and considerations when upgrading from lead acid batteries to lithium iron phosphate on your sailboat? Well, one, lead acid batteries like to be fully recharged after each discharge. And that's really challenging on a cruising boat. Often we are off the dock away from shore power and it's hard to fully recharge it, which is the cause of death for so many lead acid batteries. Whereas lithium iron phosphate operates really happily in a partial state of charge. The other issue with lead acid batteries is the recharge time. The current that a lead acid battery can accept decreases as it finishes its charge. So the last 10 or 20 percent of the recharge takes longer and longer to complete. Whereas lithium iron phosphate has a much higher acceptance rate all the way to the very end of charging. A pro to upgrading to lithium iron phosphate is usable capacity. So lead acid, you are restricted to about 50% of the battery. More than that, and the number of cycles that you are able to get out of the battery decreases dramatically. Whereas with lithium iron phosphate batteries, especially those from Battleborn, you're able to use the full capacity of the battery. Another pro in upgrading from lead acid batteries to lithium iron phosphate is temperature related degradation. So a leading AGM brand states in their manual that you can expect a 50% decrease in overall life expectancy of the battery for every 18 degree Fahrenheit rise in temperature above battery happy temperature, which is about room temperature. Whereas with Battleborn batteries, lithium iron phosphate, we see that at temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we only see a 30% degradation in overall life expectancy. So finally, there's the weight consideration. Lead acid batteries are much heavier than the newer lithium iron phosphate technology. This is about 160 pounds. It's quite hard to move in and out of the boat. This is about half the weight. So it depends where the batteries are mounted in a sailboat. If they're down low, the weight savings isn't really that much of a overall improvement, but it depends if the batteries are mounted in a, in a poor location, too far forward or in a location that's hard to access or might affect the sailing performance of the boat, then the weight savings can be useful. So as you can see, there are a lot of pros to upgrading from lead acid batteries to Battleborn's lithium iron phosphate batteries, but there are some other important considerations when considering this upgrade. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Battleborn Batteries. And in the meantime, I hope you consider supporting Warrior Sailing.